Hello everyone, Brendan Vandenberg here, welcoming you back to another video. Sorry guys, I'm talking insanely fast right now. Uh, guys, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach trailer just dropped. Now, today has been an amazing day. The Oculus uh, Quest 2 is now for pre-order, and I'm going to have to get that. But, not only that, but we just got the trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Now, sorry I don't have a webcam right now. I think it got unplugged. No one's already said that, but guys, I was doing my online school. And I look at my phone, and then I keep on getting these notifications different YouTubers. Like, oh my gosh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach trailer came out. I'm like, no, it's not. The new Steel Wall posted something on Twitter, and I guess it got revealed in the PlayStation thing. Is that only going to be for PlayStation, or just revealed for PlayStation? I don't know, guys. I'm not a breath. <laughs> this is so insane. Uh, I have a theory. So, I think this is actually, like, actual, actual what happens in the FNAF universe. If you remember Scott a while back ago, I'm pretty sure he said he kind of just wants to redo the story. And I feel like how he did that is through Security Breach. He made every game, you know, Ultimate Custom Night through the first game. You know, I think even FNAF World. Those are games within the game universe, which are kind of roughly based off of the actual universe. And I kind of think the Fazbear Frights books, maybe even the uh, 1, 2, and 3 books, Silver Eyes and all that kind of books, might be canon. Um, but I think Fazbear Frights is actually what's actually going on in the real world of FNAF. And then, you know, basically <clears throat> the first games, the first, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through, through um, Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Nights were all games from the FNAF universe. And, you know, um, so was, um, the, <clears throat> so was, um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so hard to watch this. But so was um, Ultimate, or uh, Help Wanted. But, like, Help Wanted to kind of explain that, like, Glitch Shop, maybe William Master, maybe the murderer in the books um, were um, <clears throat> were still in the game file. I don't know. But uh, that's just my theory. I don't even know if it's right. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not Game Theory over here. I'm not Matt Pat. But I haven't even seen the thumbnail. Check. This L I Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please come out. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a crunch. It won't happen again. What? What was that? What? So I don't think it has a release yet. Um. Yeah, I don't think it has. You can go to Steel Wall's website. Oh, I just cut my hand on my computer desk. Ow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, that's when it came on Quest. That's when it came on from the Switch. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so, guys, Fazbear Entertainment bought them all. They bought them all. Okay? I I who is that? Is that Ballora? I don't know if that works in full screen. Is that Ballora? Who is that? So that might be like a laser tag area, because it'd be an arcade, right? But look at those graphics! Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Oh, yeah! 
Is that Roxanne? Roxanne the Wolf? Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. That is a lot to take in. Okay. So Fazbear Entertainment bought them all. Okay. And I kind of think what's happening here is this, this is a conversation maybe between Roxanne and another person and, uh, or maybe Vanny. Maybe Vanny and like a child and the child saw something that she wasn't supposed to see. Or maybe this is animatronic who, um, did something and a little child saw it and, you know, she was, you know, they had a one-on-one -on -one connection with the animatronic or her and Roxanne the Wolf or whoever animatronic, um, they had a, like a really good connection and, you know, the child saw what she did and, um, she's like, oh no, it's okay and all that. What? That's insane. That's, is that outside? Like, it has this tower. Fazbear Entertainment owns them all. Just, just, just take that in for a moment. What? <laughs> Guys, I am such a FNAF fan. I mean, not, I used to not be, but, like, seriously. So we have Rock, Glamrock Freddy. We have Gator Bro. So, look at these graphics. But is it only on PlayStation? Is, is that the thing about it? Is it only on PlayStation? Like, is, if I watch this one, is it for PlayStation only? Does it say? Is it? I hope. I sure hope it's not only for PlayStation. We got Daco, AA Daco. No, I think it's just showing the PS5 footage to kind of promote the PS5. I don't know. Will it be getting other ports? PC. Um. Guys, there you have it. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. We've been waiting a year for this game, and I think it's about to come out. Um, hopefully, with, with the PS5, it might be like a launch day title or something. But that game looks insane. That's going to be so cool to play or, or to, you know, watch gameplay on. Oh. <laughs> what? That was mad insane, guys. That was a really cool trailer. Um, but anyways, guys, um... My, have I been recording? Or I have been. Sorry, no webcam, but guys, that was absolutely insane. Um, I have some more videos to edit, but, oh, you know, this has been an amazing day despite having to do home with school work, online school work. Um, it's been a really amazing day. Um, you know, we got the reveal of the Oculus Quest 2. It's going to be $300, and it's going to uh, come out October 17th. That's, that's an exact month from tomorrow. So, just, man, um, it's going to be shipped. So, guys, Final Fantasy Friday Security Breach. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, uh, that's going to do for this to you guys. Uh, I have some Baldi video I'm going to upload later. I have a Boris video I might upload, Boris Dark Survival. Uh, and we just have some other content. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.